Okay, we're saying goodbye to camp number three, but what a beautiful location to have a night of sleep in and a little fun around the campfire. We played guitar last night and sang and had a great dinner. It was awesome. All right, good morning, folks. I'm in the tent. It's about seven o'clock on day number four. And my tent is a mess. I got to get this cleaned up and ready to go because about 90 minutes, we're going to launch these boats and head down to Bonat Bend. Stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, now we're at the part where we're breaking down everything and packing up to leave again. Okay, well, it's that part of the morning where all the gear is down here. And... We are getting a chain gang going down the side of the hill to get everything loaded. So that all goes, not the black tote, but the rest of this here all goes in mine and Daniel's boat. Not to mention a cooler and the groover. So the day continues. We're gonna come around here and stop here and hike into the middle of this to where we can see this part of the water all the way around the bow knot to this part of the water. And one day that will actually join and that won't go around anymore. But that's gonna be awesome. Then Can't we paddle wait. down and ledge camp is actually at the end of this. It's on the other side. And it's actually right there. So that's where the mighty ledge camp is that's in. That's where mighty ledge camp That's is. where we're going to be. They call it Two Mile Canyon. That's our last camp of the trip then? That is the, the last layover. Camp, that's our layover. Okay, sweet. All right, good morning, folks. We are the first ones to launch today. And we are down here when the magic hour is still happening. You can see all the beautiful reflections and all the red rock shining in the morning sun over here. I can't far from here. Yeah, we hiked pretty far yesterday. It doesn't look like it from here, though. It's crazy. So everybody is getting packed up and heading out. We're heading down to the Bonot Bend here in a little bit, and that's going to be our first hike of the day. The rest of the crew finished packing the canoes in the cool early morning air. Right, another beautiful, relaxing day, brother. Can't go wrong, man. It's just beautiful location. And that blue heron again, of course, I mean, that that's always fun to be able to see a, a wild critter out here. Bonot Bend's probably not too far away. I'm going to take a quick look here in the map book and find out exactly where that location's at. So let's take a look. The Bonot Bend was here, and we weren't too far away. The landing spot was just a short distance, and we'd be there in a few minutes. So yeah, Daniel, we're going up to the top of that thing. The Green River had cast its magical spell. The look on my face describes it all. True happiness from within can be achieved. All it takes is some great family and some beautiful desert wilderness. Gentlemen, how goes it? Hey, it's going good. So this is all right. that saddle that's in that map book then. That's Rock and roll. Okay. That's I recognize some guys. Around and almost touch the okay, we paddled about a mile or two this morning down to the Bonot Bend, where we are going to hike up to the top here in a minute. All the boats are here. Everybody's heading up. I'm gonna start heading that direction up the trail here in just a minute. Awesome. Trails are pretty easy to follow. See the folks up ahead. Oh yeah, beautiful. We continued hiking in the desert wilderness. Every step forward was rewarding as we continued up the trail into the wild. Well, that's the trail up. We're heading that way right now. Good howdy. All right, folks, we've been scrambling up this and it gets a little bit more technical when you go up, but it's not too bad. Did you? So yeah, there's a couple technical scrambles here getting up this stuff this is what we just came up Whew. out of breath all right so we're almost to the top of the bonot bend here the part where we can see both rivers I think it's gonna be pretty awesome Whew. lots of climbing definitely out of breath all right 
here's the gap. We came up from down there at the river. And now you can see the river here and then the river seven miles away over here. It's a big loop to get back to this point. Awesome. The views from the top of the Bonat Bend were amazing. I had dreamed of being here for almost a decade, and now here I was, and it was even better than I imagined. All right, there you go, folks. This part of the river on the right is the one we're going down, and after a seven mile loop, we'll be on this one on the left. <laughs> Can't believe it. It's just so incredibly beautiful. I would say if you're a newbie to hiking, you haven't done a lot of rugged hikes, but this is definitely not the hike for someone who's not experienced. This thing is rugged and on the edge on both sides. One false move and you're going to be hurting pretty bad. I continued hiking across the top toward my brother and friends. Everywhere around me was intense beauty and I knew I was fortunate to be here now. My brother went down to the edge and took in the magnificent view. I soon joined him as a bird flew through the frame. The feeling of absolute love and respect I had at this moment made me feel like a free bird, flying in a dream, on a stairway to heaven, in a moment that was one for all and all for one. After taking in the views and capturing some stunning photographs, we all signed the guest log on top before heading back down the trail. It was nice to visit this amazing place, but we had a lot more miles to cover on the river before the next campsite. We needed to get moving and continue our journey down the Green River. What a great day to be alive. I felt like I was in the perfect place at the right time and with the most wonderful people. The Bonat Bend was named by geologist John Wesley Powell in 1869 during one of his famous explorations of the rivers in the American West. We felt fortunate to be able to follow some of the same river as this historic figure. We got back to our canoes and continued downriver and saw another heron taking off. Ready to get a shot of the bird. As we continued to canoe down this beautiful stretch of the Green River, we realized how fortunate we were to be able to experience something so wonderful. This was indeed a trip of a lifetime, and I let the wild spirit in the area take over as I became more and more connected to the Green River. This section of the Green River Canyon in eastern Utah is known as Bonat Bend because of the way the river doubles back on itself so close that the two sections of the river are just two tenths of a mile apart. The loop carries river canoeists approximately seven miles before bringing them back to nearly the same point they started from, though from the other side of the low narrow saddle. Alright folks, we are on the other side of the Bonat Bend. Earlier today, we were up in the middle of this lower section. Absolutely amazing to think we hiked up from the other side to this, and now we crossed it eight or so miles later. Still got a couple more miles to go to camp, but uh, we're looking forward to it. Amazing day. Holy cow, the wind has been crazy. Just nuts. Once we came around the Bonat Bend, the wind was right in our faces and very intense at times. The last few miles of paddling was very tough. We needed to stay focused to keep the canoe straight in the water. The winds were gusting up to 30 and 40 miles per hour and the waves on the river were as high as the top of the canoe at times. It was a tough few miles of paddling, but even in this adverse weather, the team came together and continued to succeed on our journey as we looked for a new campsite. Turns out that ledge camp was taken so we landed on a sandbar downstream a mile or so. There was a campsite nearby, but the walk to get to it was too far with all the gear we had. 
The water in the area was very shallow, and we couldn't paddle through it with the weight of the gear, canoes, and people. We had to walk about a half mile in the river to find a better canoe docking area that was closer to the new campsite. The wind and the water started to take its toll on the group. All right, we've been walking the last quarter mile or so in the river, trying to keep the boat from bottoming out. This crazy wind is just making everything But before we knew it, we found the perfect spot. And just like that, our canoe part of the day's journey had come to an end. All right, folks, this is day number four, camp number four. What an outstanding, beautiful view that we have here. Now there's a lot of space here, so everybody's kind of spread out and we all have some good camp spots and just beautiful and it's in the shade already, which is even cooler. Okay, so this is the spot that I chose to camp. My tent will go right there. As you see, it's already there. Got all my gear over here. And check out this view from this side. It's pretty outstanding. This will be where the back of the tent is at, but the front door of my tent is gonna be seeing this when I wake up in the morning. And I gotta tell you, that is an outstanding view. Absolutely love it. Okay, here you can see there's a blue bag, but behind the blue bag, back in there, is a green bag. That is where my gear is at, right there. Let me show you where my brother's camping at for the night. He is setting up over here, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty outstanding spot, so let's go over and visit him, shall we? All right, that's going to be his view there. <laughs> How cool is that? All right, look at that. That's a sweet spot you found, man. Okay, so it's later in the day. It's about 5.30 Utah time. Day four. And we decided to do a little side hike above camp here. The wind has finally calmed down. It was crazy earlier. Just white cap waves on the river and big wind right in our face, so. But it's calmed down quite a bit and now you can see where we're at and this place is awesome i would love to roll some time lapse video on this these clouds coming in we are definitely going to get some moisture you can see your tent now, dude. all right folks that is where we're camping you see in the lower part of the screen daniel's green tent in the upper middle my maroon and gray tent let me back out and show you where that's at exactly oh, sorry All right, so on our afternoon hike, we've been discovering some unusual and weird rock formations. Look at this. You can see through it. That's just awesome. These rocks are just so weird. Just look at all this. The rock formations in the canyon were amazing. Everywhere we looked was intense beauty and color. Along the hike, we made some fun discoveries, such as a pool of water in the desert, this water looks dirty, but it can be filtered to make it safe to drink with the correct equipment. We didn't need any water, so we just took a picture instead. Then the sun started to set. The skies are so intense right now. I mean, it doesn't look like the sun should be shining at all when you see that. But it's just, that is awesome. All right, so here's the camping spot that I picked for Wednesday night, day number four. Looks like a pretty good spot to me. Can't complain. Why don't we go in and take a closer look? Okay, you can see I got a tarp behind here with some supplies on it so I can remain organized as much as possible. Most of that stuff will get put away tonight in dry sacks and covered up. And then the tent. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. So you can kind of see in there through the screen. It's looking pretty good. Here, why don't we open it up for you real quick? 
Okay, there you go. That's where I'm sleeping at for the night and should be pretty comfortable. Looking forward to it. After getting video of the inside of my tent, I stood up and turned around to discover that the sunset was intensely beautiful. I felt like the most fortunate person in the world at that moment. The Green River in Utah had not disappointed. It's every bit as beautiful and peaceful as I had ever imagined. My dream of visiting here was indeed a great dream. And now, here I was in the middle of that dream and not wanting to ever wake up. I enjoyed the last of the sunset as nightfall slowly took over the surrounding area. I looked back at my tent as I felt the tranquility of tonight's campsite take over my wild spirit. Short while later, I went to experience the campfire with my brother and friends. We found a perfect spot that was out of the wind and quite cozy. All right, another successful day. Even with all the crazy wind today, this has ended up being a beautiful campsite and an awesome day. Having our little campfire, wrapping it up for the night. Anyway, tune back tomorrow because we'll be hiking up to a place called The Windows, so it's going to be very beautiful. Nice long hike and uh, some rock arches, so we can't go wrong with that. The moon rose above our campsite as we gathered to make s'mores around the fire. We melted marshmallows over the campfire and made some sweet treats. Another amazing day on the Green River. And now we got to have some evening snacks after dinner. The moon lit up the surrounding area nicely and made the ambience even better. After a great campfire experience, it was time to brush and floss before heading off to the tent for some much needed shut-eye. I knew I would sleep great tonight and have good dreams about tomorrow. So anyway, as usual, love, love, hate, hate, take care of each other.